Welcome to Rodney Publishing. Have I got a tale for you. All characters and scenes in this short are fiction. The thoughts and opinion expressed in this piece may not reflect the views of the author. If you like, subscribe, share, follow. Andrew Miller. The knock came at 2 a.m. Two officers stood on his porch. We have some questions about a missing person. Andrew's heart pounded. He nodded slowly, fear gripping him. China rose. Andrew's mind raced. Missing person? Who? The officers exchanged a look. China rose. Andrew's blood ran cold. It was her. The woman he knew. The woman he loved. But how? She lived thousands of miles away. Or so he thought. It began eight months ago. A simple message on a dating app. China rose, her profile said, from a small village in China. Her English was broken but charming. Her messages were full of warmth and wit. They connected instantly. Days turned into weeks, filled with late-night calls and shared dreams. He learned about her life, her family, her hopes. She listened to his own, offering comfort and encouragement. Love blossomed, fragile yet powerful, across the miles. But there were inconsistencies. Times when China would disappear for days, her messages sporadic and vague. Her story sometimes contradicted, details shifting like sand. When he pressed, she'd deflect, blaming the language barrier or the poor internet connection in her village. He pushed down the doubts. He wanted to believe her. He clung to the memories of their calls, her laughter echoing in his ears. He told himself it was just cultural differences, the challenges of long distance. Then came the discoveries. They were small at first, almost insignificant, but they began to pile up, each one more unsettling than the last. Photos of her on social media, geotagged to places she swore she'd never been. These weren't just any places. They were locations that held significance, places she had stories about but had never mentioned visiting. A phone number with a different area code. It wasn't just one number, but several, each from a different state, each one a mystery. Who were these people? Why were they calling her? A voice message, accidentally left on his phone, spoken in fluent English, an accent nothing like the one she used with him. It was as if she was a different person entirely, someone he didn't know at all. The doubts became a roar. Every conversation replayed in his mind, every detail scrutinized. He began to question everything he knew about her. Was she who she said she was? The woman he thought he knew seemed to be slipping away, replaced by a stranger with secrets. Was any of it real? The memories they shared, the moments that felt so genuine, now seemed tainted by doubt. He couldn't shake the feeling that he had been living a lie. He tried to confront her, but her messages became evasive. Then, silence. It was as if she had vanished, leaving him with nothing but questions and a growing sense of unease. Days turned into weeks, her online presence vanishing like a ghost. Her once active social media accounts were now eerily silent. No posts, no updates, just a void where she used to be. He was left to piece together the fragments of their time together, trying to understand who she really was and why she had disappeared so suddenly. Mr. Miller, the officer's voice cut through his thoughts, sharp and unyielding, like a knife slicing through butter. Andrew's heart raced as he tried to gather his scattered thoughts. Did you ever meet China Rose in person? The question hung in the air, heavy with implication. Andrew shook his head, his throat dry and his palms sweaty. He could feel the weight of the officer's gaze, scrutinizing every micro-expression on his face. No, never. It was all online. His voice wavered slightly, betraying the anxiety he felt inside. The officer's eyes narrowed, a flicker of suspicion crossing his stern features. It was clear he wasn't entirely convinced by Andrew's response. But you were in love with her? The officer's tone was probing, relentless, as if trying to unearth a hidden truth. Andrew sat at his kitchen table, pale, his expression a mixture of fear and confusion. He felt cornered, like a deer caught in the headlights. Yes, Andrew whispered, his voice breaking. I thought I was. The words felt like a confession, a release of the burden he had been carrying. He told them everything. The late night conversations, the shared secrets, the emotional connection that had felt so real. The messages, the calls, the doubts, the disappearance. 
Each detail painted a picture of a relationship that had consumed him. The officers listened, their faces impassive, taking notes and occasionally exchanging glances. They were piecing together a puzzle, and Andrew's story was a crucial piece. We need to look at your computer, Mr. Miller, one said, and your phone. The request was firm, leaving no room for negotiation. Andrew nodded, feeling a sense of inevitability. He knew that his digital life would now be laid bare, every message and search history scrutinized. The officer's words echoed in his mind as he led them to his study, where his computer sat, a silent witness to his online interactions. The tension in the room was palpable as the officers began their examination, their serious expressions never wavering. Andrew could only watch, his heart pounding as they delved deeper into his private world. The next few hours were a blur. Officers swarmed his apartment, their questions relentless. He felt numb, the reality of the situation sinking in. He had poured his heart out to a ghost, a figment of someone's cruel imagination. As they examined his computer, her messages flashed on the screen. Words of love, now cold and empty. He heard her laughter echoing in his mind, wondering if it had ever been real. The weight of his own naivete crushed him. The police uncovered a trail of fake accounts, stolen identities, and meticulously crafted lies. China Rose was a phantom, a digital mask worn by someone skilled in deception. But who was behind it, and why target him? The investigation widened, crossing international borders. Cybercrime units were brought in, trying to untangle the web of fake profiles and IP addresses. Andrew cooperated fully, desperate for answers, his hope dwindling with each passing day. Weeks later, a break. The days had dragged on, each one feeling like an eternity. Andrew's life had become a monotonous cycle of waiting and worrying, his eyes constantly glued to his phone, hoping for any sign of progress. The clock seemed to mock him with its relentless ticking, and the calendar pages flipped by, each one a reminder of how long it had been since he last felt any semblance of peace. A woman was arrested in a small town in Montana. The news spread quickly, a glimmer of hope in the otherwise bleak landscape of Andrew's mind. The small town buzzed with activity, police cars with flashing lights illuminating the quiet streets. The woman, looking bewildered and scared, was escorted by officers, her hands cuffed in front of her. She matched the description China Rose had given, her voice a chilling echo of the one in the voice message. Andrew dared to hope. Had they found her? His heart raced as he listened to the voice message again, comparing it to the woman's voice. It was uncanny, almost identical. For the first time in weeks, Andrew felt a flicker of hope. Could this be the break they had been waiting for? But his hope was short-lived. The initial excitement quickly turned to disappointment as more details emerged. The woman, though matching the description, was not the person they were looking for. Andrew's heart sank, the hope that had briefly lifted his spirits now fading away. He turned away in frustration, the weight of the situation pressing down on him once more. The woman was a victim herself, her identity stolen and used to create the China Rose persona. She looked distressed, her eyes wide with fear and confusion as the police questioned her. The realization hit Andrew hard. This woman was just another pawn in the perpetrator's game, her life turned upside down by the same person who had been tormenting him. She had never spoken to Andrew, never even heard of him. The confusion on her face was genuine, her denial sincere. Andrew felt a mix of emotions. Relief that she was not the one responsible, but also a deepening sense of despair. The real China Rose was still out there, and the mystery remained unsolved. He looked puzzled, his mind racing with questions as he spoke to the police on the phone. The real perpetrator was still out there, hiding in the digital shadows. The silhouette of a person behind a computer screen, the glow of the monitor casting an eerie light in the dark room, was a haunting reminder of the faceless enemy they were up against. The hacker, with their obscured face, remained a ghost in the machine, eluding capture and continuing their reign of terror. The battle was far from over, and Andrew knew he had to brace himself for the long road ahead. The investigation took a new turn.
financial records revealed a pattern of small sums of money transferred from Andrew's accounts to various online accounts. China Rose hadn't just stolen his heart, she had been slowly draining his bank account. The amounts were small, easily overlooked, but over time they added up. China Rose hadn't just been playing a cruel game, she had been running a sophisticated con. The realization hit Andrew hard. He had been a fool, blinded by his own longing. Months turned into a year. The investigation continued, but the trail had gone cold. The police suspected a larger criminal organization, exploiting lonely hearts for financial gain. China Rose was just one face in a crowd, one mask among many. Andrew tried to move on, but the experience left him scarred. He was haunted by the memory of China Rose, her voice, her laughter, all carefully crafted illusions. He had lost his savings, his trust, and a part of himself. To this day, the case remains unsolved. China Rose was never found. Perhaps she never existed. The experience taught Andrew a harsh lesson about the deceptive nature of online relationships, the dangers of letting your heart rule your head. He still wonders who she really was. What motivated her? Was it just about the money? Or was there something more, something darker, at play? The questions linger, unanswered a constant reminder of the woman who loved him, or pretended to, from a world away. Thank you for your time. Click the link in my bio. Leave a comment.